Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dan here with Grapevine Recording and today I just want to do a quick video talking about the Zoom H4n and the reason why I want to talk about this is one, it's something that I use pretty much every day and uh, two, there's something quite recently that I've figured out with it that you can that you can implement to kind of get the most out of it. Uh, the biggest problem for me with the Zoom is that the battery life isn't isn't very good. And uh, the more the batteries drain, you start to hear a hiss on the preamps. So these preamps are notoriously loud. For those who have ever used them, for those who have ever used them and then moved on to something else, probably the main reason why you move to something else is for a higher quality preamp. However, it doesn't negate how useful these are to have, to have just in your bag, to use when you're out and about, if you're in a pinch. And plus they're pretty cost effective for someone who's just starting out recording their own sounds or what have you. Some of you may know that you can go and buy a wall adapter for the H4n, so it just goes into the wall, into the bottom of the H4n, eliminates the use of the batteries and just gives you the highest possible quality that these preamps can provide. The problem with this is that you are tethered to a wall. Um, what I've found is you can go and buy like the Eneloop batteries which will give you a higher, higher output and a longer charge, however of course, like inherently with batteries, they don't really last very long anyway. And again, as soon as they start draining, you start hearing that hiss come in uh, in very, very high frequencies. So realize that, you know, if you own a power bank, you can actually go and purchase a USB power cable uh, for the Zoom H4n. The um, dimensions are four millimeters by 1.7 millimeter on the pin and it's got to be central polarity positive uh, for on when you go on eBay or on Amazon I'll try and leave some links for you uh, you will see that it will mention polarity central positive or negative just make sure you get the central polarity positive now what this does is allows this to become the mobile power source as a power bank often does and it basically gives you the benefit of having the wall socket, like the higher voltage, the higher power output. But to take it with you, of course you can get bigger ones, smaller ones than this, it all depends what, what you want. Uh, this is one that I already had. Um, and basically it's, it's very simple, you just plug the USB into one side of it, you plug the power pin into the bottom of the H4n, and then switch it on and um, that's that's basically it it's it's as simple it's as simple as that I'm just gonna take the SD card out of it so it loads faster but uh, as you can see or maybe you cannot see but I will try and let you see uh, just give it a moment uh, there's no battery indicator in the top corner that means it is using the onboard uh, DC I think it is it is a uh, DC 5 volts 1 amp input and that's basically what these can provide um, and works really well. The one thing that I've noticed that you've got to do is, at least on mine, this might differ for anyone, but I do have to have a set of batteries inside the H4n. Um, if there isn't any batteries in, it gets like halfway through the boot process and just switches off. Um, but this allows me to have up to 10, 15 hours of battery life. Uh, also allows me to charge my phone if I need it um, and I'm trying to figure out some kind of cool contraption to maybe like mount these on top of each other uh, but I really don't want to drill a handle into the bottom of this but I'm sure you can get a lighter duty power bank that you can bring with you just for your H4n um, and you can go from there. What's also great with this as well is you don't have to then use stamina mode on the device which limits a lot of your functions you know you can only record to an mp3 things like that, the sample rate and the bit depth are reduced. It allows you to keep all the functionality of the H4n running on normal mode, not on stamina mode, but allows it just to keep that power going. You don't have to use a power bank if you don't want to. You can always just use a regular wall socket using the USB to wall socket plugs, which everyone has for phone chargers and whatnot. Uh, it's always worth having with you. and. It's just something that's really useful to have in your bag. If you're someone like me and you use it pretty much every day, you don't want to start going through batteries, 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 worrying about bringing extra batteries with you, worrying about bringing a battery charger with you. All you basically have to do is bring one of these, which, you know, nowadays, 
a lot of people have with them anyway to charge the phone buy the cable cost five pounds works out really well um, it helps eliminate a lot of that hiss I've found and uh, it's a lot cheaper than going having to buy a new recorder but try it out let us know what you think thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon